What's up guys, Captain Horn 23 here, and today I'm going to show you how to install scripthookv.net for LSPDFR in less than 5 minutes. Don't forget to join my LSPDFR and Xplane 11 community discord. In here I have many channels related to LSPDFR including 4 help channels with helpers standing by to assist you with any issue you may have with LSPDFR. I also have Xplane related channels where you can come in here and talk with other people that play Xplane and make new friends and you can also go on group flights and VATSIM with your friends. I will also be going on group flights with people so if you wish to fly with me or even play LSPDFR with me feel free to join the discord. I'm always looking for new members. The link to join the discord will be in the description. Alright guys, scriptookv.net. Now this is very important what I'm about to say. Scriptookv.net is literally nothing like scriptookv. This It's a totally different plugin and um, it, it relates in zero way to scriptookv. Scriptookv.net is a totally separate thing. A lot of people have trouble understanding that. So again, scriptookv and scriptookv.net are totally different. So what this really allows you to do is add scripts to Grand Theft Auto 5. And what scriptookv allows you to do is um, it pretty much allows mods like LSPDFR to run. So these are nothing alike and um, scriptookv.net like I said allows you to run add scripts and this is what you need to have a scripts folder. And there's a few plugins out there that require you have this plugin so it's quite important to have it. Um, it's actually uh, it can be it's really easy to install but a lot of people mess up while installing it and if you mess it up then it will crash your game trust me I had issues with that in the past now all we're gonna need today is this WinRAR folder I have on my desktop called scriptookv.net the link will be in the description when you click on it, it's gonna bring you to this page make sure it says .net right here and um, see we can read here it's an ASI plugin which allows you to run scripts written in a .net language this is what makes it different from scriptookv what you want to do is hit this download button, this green download button here, and it's going to bring you to a GitHub page. And then just scroll down and click this scriptookv.net.zip right here. And um, drag it out to your desktop like I have right here. Next, what we want to do is navigate to our Grand Theft Auto main directory. Mine is located in my F drive. Yours is probably going to be different. And remember, it's always the one that just says Grand Theft Auto 5, not dash copy. This is the one that Rage will all, always run. And once you are in here, we can open the WinRAR file that we just downloaded. And inside, we're going to have a few files. Uh, license, a readme, scriptookv.net.asi, scriptookv.net.ini, scriptookv.net.dll, .xml, .dll, .xml. Now, this is extremely important, guys. Do not, and I repeat, do not drag both of these XML documents into your main directory. If you do this, it will crash. 100% guaranteed your game will crash. Trust me, I know from experience. All we want to do is select this application extension right here under the type. Press control on your keyboard and select this application extension, so you should have two. Select the ASI file, so you should have three selected now, and the configuration settings. So in other words, select everything except the two XML documents and you don't need the license or the readme. So you should have four selected, both application extensions, configuration, and the ASI file. Once you have all four of those selected, you can drag and drop them into your Grand Theft Auto main directory. Just like that. And after that, what you want to do to make it easier on yourself is right-click in your main directory, go to New, and then a folder. I'm just going to create a new folder. And simply name it Scripts. Just like that, and press Enter. And there you go. That is where you're going to add your scripts whenever you need one. Like, uh, for instance, the cruise control, I know that is a script. Um, the realist, I'm pretty sure you can add realistic hunger and like food. That is a script. There's a lot of things that are scripts. Be sure to read whatever you're adding and make sure, um, or a lot of them will say 
scriptvconet is required and you need to drag and drop it into your scripts folder. But yeah, that is how you install scriptvconet. Once you've done that, you can X out of both of these and head on into the game. But this doesn't this literally does not change a single thing in your game because it's pretty much allows you to add scripts that will change your game, such as cruise control. But that is how you install it. It's um, it can be detrimental if you don't install it correctly. But if you have issues, don't forget to join the Discord, guys. Uh, I have helpers there, and I can help you out if you installed it incorrectly. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe, and that's going to do it for today's video, guys. So I hope you have a great rest of your day.